Elon Musk's SpaceX has had the first mover advantage in the commercialization of space and is aiming to dominate the private sector in this arena. And now, it has landed a $178 million launch services contract for an upcoming NASA mission. U.S. space agency NASA is looking to launch its first mission focusing on Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, in order to assess whether it could have conditions suitable for hosting life. If you would like to learn more about this topic, then you must watch this video to the end. Hello and welcome to another exciting video from our channel. In today's video, we will tell you everything we know so far about Elon Musk's plan to Jupiter. But before we start this topic into the details, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on our latest videos. SpaceX has already worked with NASA in recent years to send numerous cargo payloads as well as astronauts to the International Space Station, and this contract is another reinforcement of the agency's confidence in Elon Musk's company. Earlier this year, the company had also bagged a $2.9 billion contract from NASA to develop a lunar lander spacecraft for the Artemis mission, which is anticipated because it would carry the space agency's astronauts to the moon for the first time in about four decades after 1972. NASA, in conjunction with SpaceX, is planning to launch its first expedition to Europa, Jupiter's ice moon, to see if it has the right conditions to support life. How SpaceX became the forerunner in NASA's Jupiter contract, Elon Musk's rocket company SpaceX, which he created in 2002, isn't in the business of studying other worlds. However, it is in the business of launching things with or without NASA's backing lately. NASA has been giving SpaceX more and more chances to do so. The mission, called Europa Clipper, is designed to fly past Jupiter's moon Europa 45 times, getting as close as 16 miles above its surface. Scientists believe the moon conceals a global ocean beneath its icy crust, and alien life could thrive deep within it. NASA announced Friday that it set a date for the mission and awarded the $178 million contract to SpaceX. Now Europa Clipper is scheduled to blast off aboard the company's Falcon Heavy rocket in October 2024. Europa Clipper's main objective is to determine whether Europa could host life at all. It aims to take high-resolution images of the moon's surface, chart the composition and thickness of its icy crust, look for lakes below the surface, and measure the depth and saltiness of the ocean below. The spacecraft could even fly through plumes of water vapor that shoot through Europa's ice, since those are known to crest more than 100 miles above the surface. This water seems to come from the ocean below, and it could contain some signs of life. The reason Europa can keep water in a liquid state is that it follows an oval-shaped orbit around Jupiter. The giant planet's gravity stretches and relaxes the moon, and that friction warms Europa's deep underground salt water, keeping it liquid. The warmth from that process could also allow the moon to harbor deep sea ecosystems. SpaceX, the rocket company Elon Musk founded in 2002, is not in the business of studying other planets, but it is in the business of launching things for NASA, and the agency is awarding the company more and more opportunities to do so. SpaceX's Crew Dragon spaceship flew NASA astronauts to the International Space Station last year. It was the first time the U.S. had launched its own astronauts since the space shuttle program ended in 2011. SpaceX is now regularly ferrying astronauts to and from the space station. In April, NASA awarded SpaceX a contract to turn its in-development Starship Mega Rocket into a lunar lander. The agency said Starship is set to land astronauts on the moon in 2024, though that timeline might be unrealistic. That would be the first human moon landing since the Apollo missions ended in 1972. Europa Clipper was officially given the go-ahead by NASA in 2015. Over the course of its mission, the probe will pass by the moon many times, providing researchers with a tantalizing look at the icy world many of which believe there is an ocean lurking under its icy crust. Jupiter Moon looks pretty much the same as ours, but it is covered with an ice shell that is roughly 12 miles thick. 
So hypothetically speaking, if we replaced our moon with Europa, it would seem the same size in the sky, but much brighter. So much brighter, in fact, with a surface made entirely of ice, this moon would reflect nearly five and a half times the sunlight that our moon does. In terms of its position, Europa orbits Jupiter at around 417,000 miles from the planet, and it also orbits the sun around 500 million miles away. Light from the sun usually takes about 45 minutes to reach Europa because of this massive distance. The light hitting Europa is about 25 times fainter than the light that hits our moon in Earth. So how does Europa get a sustainable energy source? Well, beneath the subsurface ice, there lies a liquid saltwater ocean that is estimated to be about 100 miles deep with no more than twice the amount of water that Earth's combined oceans have. While no sunlight reaches Europa's oceans, it is believed that the waters are heated slightly due to vents on the ocean floor. NASA would then go on to select SpaceX's Falcon Heavy because they were satisfied that it met all the technical requirements to carry out the mission. One of the reasons why they selected SpaceX is because they placed the Europa Clipper in Category 3 for launch services. This means that Europa Clippers should be carried on a commercial vehicle that has performed at least three successful launches. This put the Falcon Heavy miles above competing commercial rockets. You see, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy was successfully flown three times despite not being launched since 2019. Other competing vehicles such as United Launch Alliance's Vulcan. SpaceX is currently transporting humans to and from the International Space Station on a regular basis. NASA and SpaceX have both been known to work together to achieve collective goals over the years. The Jupiter relationship is definitely not the last project they are going to be embarking on together, but this begs the question, how did NASA and SpaceX begin their relations on this Jupiter mission? Jupiter has been the most studied. While planet Jupiter is an unlikely place for living things to take hold, the same is not true for some of its many moons. Europa is one of the likeliest places to find life elsewhere in our solar system. There is evidence of a vast ocean just beneath its icy crust, where life could possibly be supported, and Elon could just be the one to prove this right. Do you think life exists out there on Jupiter? I hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching this video, and if you think the video was worth watching, then don't forget to hit the like button and share it.